keep it simple. And find a good example from everyday life that illustrates what you're talking about. Complex scientific and math discoveries can be difficult to understand for those who do not work in these fields. It's critical for scientists to learn to communicate what they do to a lay audience. You want to engage people in a physical way. If you're staring at a whiteboard, talking to it and talking to yourself, uh, your audience is not going to be drawn in. Well, it's easy to forget that other people aren't familiar with all the terms that we use all the time. And so it's, it's really important to kind of try to keep things simple and explain things without jargon as much as possible. There's nothing wrong with revising something five times to make it concise. And we've all had to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think nobody starts out in their career being an excellent writer. It's something that comes with practice and feedback. You shouldn't worry about saying things that are rigorously true and precisely true when you're talking to the public. You should give them the idea. You should use analogies. You should use pictures a great deal. So the mistakes that people make when they're trying to convey complex information uh, largely is misunderstanding your audience, uh, misunderstanding why they're listening to you. One key part of communi clear communication is uh, repetition, <laughs> repetition, repetition. And so if you have an idea that you want to communicate um, to the general public, I think making that idea simple and repeating it as often as possible. So what I like to do if I'm trying to communicate a complex topic to a general audience, especially scientific, is I try to tell a story when it's a, an engineer or it's a scientist that's trying to solve a problem, is I use the scientist as the protagonist or the, the good guy and the problem as the antagonist, as the bad guy. And so the scientist is trying to solve this problem and there's twists and there's turns. The scientist tries one thing and that doesn't work and they try, they change it a little bit and they try it again and maybe that works a little bit but not quite and they try to change something else and that gives them completely unexpected results and then they try something else and they solve the problem. That's the climax of the story and then the resolution can be sort of like how do you apply that to, to the world and how do you use that in the world. Even though you're an applied mathematician and you might love and appreciate all of the subtleties of your scientific work, here's a tip the public doesn't care, right? They want to know what's interesting about what you're doing and why it's important.